portrait of a young seated woman by Thomas Couture, which was looted by Nazis during a horrific time of World War II, belongs in the hands of the descendants of the original painting owner, Georges Mandel, a Jewish politician who was murdered by Nazis in 1944, not long after his apartment was raided and his entire art collection seized. Thomas Couture, who lived from 1815 to 1879, was a French painter and teacher. He spent his early years in Senlis, France before moving to Paris where he began his studies at the industrial art school École des Arts et Métiers. His first feat as a young artist was the prestigious Prix de Rome competition which he failed to win in his first six attempts. These failures, however, did not discourage Couture, nor did they cause him to think any less of himself as an artist. Couture finally did win the competition in 1837, proving to both him and himself that he was the artist he believed he was. Thomas Couture first began to receive real recognition for his work in 1840 when his artwork was placed on exhibit at the Paris Salon. The piece that set Couture apart from other artists and captured the eyes of many people in the art world was Romans During the Decadence. This piece was groundbreaking work as it combined both the ideals of modern art with the ideals of classic art from previous centuries. Couture's new innovative artistic techniques gained lots of attention after the Paris Salon and opened a new path for his career. Couture received government and church commissions for murals during the late 1840s through 1850s. However, this form of art was not fitting for Couture as two murals went unfinished and the third received harsh criticism. Couture took these criticisms to heart and left Paris returning to his hometown of Senlis where he altered his focus to teachings and published a book titled Method and Workshop Interviews where he discussed his artistic ideals along with his working methods. Couture passed away in Paris in the year 1879. Georges Mandel, who lived 1855 to 1944, was the original owner of the painting Portrait of a Young Seated Woman which was created by Couture sometime between 1850 and 1855. Mendel was a French journalist, politician, and most importantly, a leader of the French resistance. Mendel was arrested twice for his beliefs and involvements in the resistance, the first being in June of 1940, where he managed to get himself released. But later that year, on August 8th, Mendel was arrested again, and that would prove to be his last day as a free man. Mendel spent the next few years being bounced from one prison to another until mid-1944 when he was captured by the Milis, a political paramilitary regime that was established to fight against the French resistance. After his capture, Mendel was executed in the forest of Fontainebleau. Because Georges Mendel was arrested in 1940, this left his apartment full of all his belongings and artwork unattended and open for looting. Some time after his arrest, his apartment was raided by Nazis and all of his collection, including the couture, was seized and put under Nazi control. What exactly happened to the portrait of a young seated woman in the following years is unknown, but just as many artworks seized by the Nazis did, this couture found its way into the hands of Hildebrand Gerlitt, a German art dealer, art historian, war profiteer, and the man primarily in charge of trading degenerate artwork. Ever since the painting was seized by Nazis sometime around 1940, its location and whether it even still existed was completely unknown to everyone. This all changed in 2012. Cornelius Gerlitt, who was the son of prized Nazi degenerate art dealer Hildebrand Gerlitt, was taking a train from Zurich to Munich on September 22, 2010. Cornelius' nervous behavior, when questioned by customs officials, led them to search his belongings, discovering 9,000 euros worth of fresh notes. This in itself was not a crime, but it sparked an investigation into Cornelius' finances on the suspicion of tax fraud. The investigation resulted in a warrant to search his Munich apartment in February of 2012. This search led the, to the discovery of one of the most extraordinary art stashes since the end of World War II. Over 1,500 pieces of artwork, which up to this point believed to have been destroyed during wartime, were discovered, including the couture, portrait of a young seated woman. With the collection being so vast, and with no proper documentation of where each artwork came from, how were art historians supposed to determine who the rightful owner of these pieces were? Luckily, the portrait of a young seated woman, there was a dead giveaway as to where the painting belonged. The painting had a small hole, and this hole is what allowed art historians to link its it to its original owner, Georges Mendel. 
When the Nazis seized art during World War II, someone documented what they had, describing the artwork, any flaws, and where it was seized. A report was found, which some believe was written by Rose Valland herself, from the raid of Mandel's apartment, describing a painting of a young woman which had a slight tear just below the cross held in the woman's hand. This report matched up perfectly with the couture found in Cornelius's hoard. The painting looked exactly like the reports described it, and just below the cross in the woman's hand, there was a slight tear. This proved that the portrait of a young seated woman was the same painting that once hung in Mandel's apartment. Now that the provenance of this artwork has been determined, the question remains as to where it should truly belong today. The piece is currently on display at the Bundeskunsthal in Bonn, Germany, where it is a part of the Gerlitt Status Report exhibit, which displays many pieces of art seized from the apartment of the late Cornelius Gerlitt. This exhibit is set to be on display for the next couple months, but once this exhibit is over, what should happen to the artwork? Rightfully, it belongs in the hands of the descendants of Georges Mandel. However, there are no known descendants of Mandel who have come forward to claim this artwork, and it seems more and more likely that no one will come forward to claim it. Because no single rightful owner can be determined at this time, once the exhibit of degenerate art is no longer on display in Bonn, the couture should be handed over to the French government, allowing them to do what they please with the work and display it wherever they feel fitting. It is only fair that this painting, Portrait of a Young Seated Woman, be returned to France because both the artist, Thomas Couture, and the original owner, Georges Mandel, were Frenchmen. The painting belongs in its home country, its home country of France.